Hey awesome humans, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, what's up? I'm so happy you're here. My name is Malia and I upload lifestyle videos every single weekend. So today's video is going to be some of my productivity tips that have really been helping me throughout quarantine. And this is my 63rd day in quarantine, which is so crazy. Um, the time has definitely flown by, but also it has been so long and I have definitely had my highs and my lows. I've had days where I did not want to get out of bed and days where I felt really really productive so I hope that I can put this video out there and help some of you out so without further ado let's get into some productivity tips now obviously every day is not going to be a productive one all the time you are going to burn out if you're productive for every second of every day but I really hope these tips can help encourage some of you so my first tip is gonna sound kind of weird but it is just to get dressed I know that it is really tempting to just stay in our pajamas because why why get ready when we're just gonna be in our house and we're just going to be seeing ourselves maybe our families I know it seems kind of pointless but trust me it really helps me get a sense of normalness and a sense of routine um, like I would normally go to school I would get ready and it just really helps me get in the mood of hey it's time to get ready and start off your day and be productive and I hope it'll be the same for some of you my second tip involves music and I know that sounds kind of weird but the music you listen to when you are studying or taking an exam or doing work can really affect the way you work so I have learned these past couple of weeks and months that pop music and popular music really really distracts my brain just the words make me want to get up and sing and dance um and obviously that is okay it is okay to have a little broadway show in your room sometimes you know what i'm saying but if you're trying to be productive and get things done obviously we don't want that so it has really helped me to listen to lo-fi chill hop music and lo-fi hip-hop playlists on spotify have helped me out so much and they don't have words most of the time but they have a nice beat which is really awesome to work to so i definitely recommend checking out some of those playlists on spotify my third tip is going to sound super weird but it is to get a plant i am not just trying to convince you to get a plant because i'm a crazy plant lady which i am as you can tell i have a tapestry with plants behind me and i have a plant next to me obviously i like plants but i'm not just saying this just because i'm saying this because plants have shown a lot of studies to help with things like boosting your mood boosting your productivity and concentration providing cleaner air and reducing stress which is so amazing for just simply having a plant in your environment the next tip I want to share with you is going to sound super basic, but it is to make a to-do list or just to write it down. Making a to-do list is honestly a great way to put what you need to do out there and hold yourself accountable. It is also really satisfying to throughout the day check things off and it gives me um, more productivity when I get things checked off. It helps me to be like, oh hey, I got so much done today, let's do more. Um, so I really hope that can help you. My next thing is to take breaks. You cannot be productive every second of every day and expect to not burn out. I really recommend taking breaks um, and it is so important so you don't burn your brain out and like just have no productivity left because that is the worst feeling ever. One of my favorite tools for this is to use the app called Be Focused. You can check out my productive apps video for more information on this app, but it is super amazing to keep you on task and to also give you some time for breaks. My next and last tip is to remove any distractions. As tempting as it can be to reach for your phone or in my case, a plant, <coughs> You do not want to do that when you're trying to get things done. So if it helps you, just remove any distractions you may have around you. Um, if your distraction is your phone, throw it out the window. Actually, don't because you'll probably break it. But, you know, maybe put it in another room or lock it up in a 
bag or just put it somewhere else so you won't be distracted. I mean, why would you let yourself get sidetracked by leaving distractions around you? Just remove it and clear your space so you can set yourself up for a productive day. I really hope these tips help and I hope you can get something out of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me, subscribe and turn on your notifications. I really hope you guys enjoyed and until next time. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? I'm down, yeah. No friends of mine, no friends of mine.